Hey, good morning, everybody. So, Broke Bo and B Ryan. Good morning. We're out here at Greenleaf and uh, we're going to get here and catch some fish. So, we're not going to do a long intro here. We're looking for some big ones today, right? Yeah. All right, we're going to go get some big ones, guys. Get back to you. nine foot deep. Here's why we're here guys. Look at the grass on the graph. That's what we're trying to fish. So it's a little chilly today. As you see a little bit foggy. We got about what 46 degrees. What's the water temp? 56 degrees. 56. We're gonna go find them. It was 65 last weekend. So 65. Nine degrees in a week. Big drop, big cold front. We're gonna get here and see if we can show you guys how to catch some fish post frontal conditions. Brian went yesterday and the high was 39, 41. Yeah, so a little warmer today. Wish us luck. See you, man. Room jig? Yeah. Boy, that was dirt shit. That's a good fish, dude. Yeah. I got it. That's a good one. I got it, Brian. Thanks, buddy. Hey, not bad start, right? We're about to find out how good a start it was. That fish was dirt. Two four. Two four. Is that what you're thinking? I'm thinking two four. about 214. 214, let's show. 214, here's the fish. Good job, bro. Good job, you. All right, number one. Here we go, guys. Not a bad start. Three okay. Pound, three pounders to start today. We'll take it. I'll swim jig up in this, guys. Here's what we're, if you can see it. Pretty shallow. I caught him right up there under that tree, probably in half foot of water. There's my bait with grass all over it. Best way. Swim jig, uh, swim bait behind it with some orange on the tail. Been pretty consistent with that, guys. That's been working. All right, we'll get back to you. All right, everybody. Number two. Boy, look at the color on this one. You can tell he's been deeper. Just now coming up into play. Yeah. Large mouth. There we go. Thanks, buddy. Free Willy. Yeah. Swim jig, guys. I think I might just stick with it. We'll see. I might throw a Cinco here in a little bit. Green Lee's a good lake on Cinco, wouldn't you say, Brian? Big time. Stay with us. Hopefully we get some more for you guys. We're looking for that big one. I was just letting it drag behind the boat. You don't let him get in the engine. There we go. Check it out, guys. Been kind of a tough day. And I'm still sticking with the swim jig. Number three. That was crazy. I was dragging it behind the boat. Got a bite. I'll take him smaller, but buyers can't be choosers. I'm happy with it. I'd almost kiss him, but I'm not. See you later. Like 
like I said, if the sun was out, they might be in the grass. Yep. If the sun's not out, they may not be in the grass. Hey everybody, thanks again for joining in today. So broke Bo. Hey, so today was pretty interesting. We were on Greenleaf Lake in Oklahoma, uh, cold front conditions. We were right out in the middle of it. We have water temperatures varying about 10 degrees difference from the day before in a cooler situation. Weather patterns play a huge difference on what type of methods you want to go fish with. Uh, keep that in mind, okay? Not to mention, was it windy? No. Was the water clear? No. It was dirty. And then, of course, the cold front. So. Those conditions usually don't play into your favor unless you're just magic, <laughs> i put it that way. And some guys out there, no matter what the conditions, they go out and catch fish. I'm not to that point yet. I'm starting to figure a lot of things out. Um, I still have a lot to learn, which I enjoy. Uh, you know, I don't want it ever, it, it, fishing is not called catching, right? So you gotta keep working on your skills. Don't ever get uh, disappointed in yourself. Don't ever get demotivated if you're out there trying to learn the sport because it's not easy. I've been fishing my whole life and I still, I mean, we went out and caught three fish today. Um, Brian, Brian, his feelings were hurt. Uh, he struck out. We don't like to strike out, but it does happen. He's a really good fisherman and we'll go back out and get him next time. So, uh, fished, Brian threw about everything in the kitchen. I threw a swim jig all day. That's what I threw. It's been working for me. Um, I can slow roll it, I can fast roll it, I can get down low, I can get down top. The very first fish I caught was in half, not even a full foot of water um, in thick grass. So it hit the water, boom, caught it, and took off with it. Uh, that was that 214. So um, this time of year, fish are moving up. It's, it's the pre-spawn staging area. These cold fronts are really changing um, these fishes, fish, the fishing, the fish behavior. Um, just like us you know it's a lot better to get up put some shorts on go outside with flip-flops but when it's cold we have to wear jackets thermals pants whatever it is so it makes a big difference so um, keep all those in mind uh, I hope y'all are out there catching some fish I hope y'all are staying safe with all this COVID stuff going on you know fishing uh, we're definitely social distancing out there uh, Brian and I are neighbors as well um, fishing is about as most the, the most isolation you can get so if you got means to go and fish at a pond a lake whatever you know not to mention it's relaxing it's fun uh, get out there and try it um, you know if you're stuck in the house trying to get out of the house go do it it's a lot of fun uh, you'll, you'll enjoy it uh, send me send me any pictures you you get of your fish whatever um, if we hit the next 100 subscribers uh, I'm going to do a drawing. I'm going to put together a fishing bag of my favorite lures and I'll send that to y'all. So give me some subscribers, give me some uh, support and I appreciate everybody that is supporting me. Uh, let's do that. That'll be fun. So I'll be watching the numbers on that. Once we hit that point, I'll do a random drawing. I'll take everybody's name that subscribed to the channel and I'll draw it. I'll even do it live. So um, hit me up if you got any questions on that. But uh, thanks again. I'm going to get off here and uh, y'all have a Y'all have a great day, great evening, great night, whatever you're doing. And uh, Broke Bow, I'm out. See y'all later.